Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to determine the analytic function where the real part is given. So this is our u. Let's name u equal to sin 2x whole division cos h2y minus cos 2x. We are going to find ux. That is a partial derivative with respect to x. We are going to follow quotient rule. First, we have to differentiate the numerator, which is cos 2x into 2. And denominator terms are written as it is minus numerator is written as it is. And derivative of the denominator is cos h2y is sin h2y into 2 minus cos 2x is minus sin 2x into 2. So we make this as plus sin 2x into 2. A whole division we have denominator square. So we are following the quotient rule when we differentiate. So whole square. Now we have to find u of ux of z comma 0. So wherever x is there, we have to substitute z. So cos 2z into 2. Then when I put 0, cos 0 is 1. So this is 1 minus cos 2z. Again coming to this, this part will become 0 because sin 0 and the remaining terms will be minus sin 2x 2z now into sin 2z into 2. Then whole division we have this is 1 and this is cos 2z. So I have substituted directly wherever x is there as z and y is there as 1. So now finally when we multiply this inside it is 2 cos 2z minus 2 cos square 2z again this is minus 2 sin square 2z whole division 1 minus cos 2z whole square. Let's take first term as it is and here minus 2 common. So we left with cos square z plus sin square z whole division 1 minus cos 2z whole square and now this becomes 1. So numerator is 2 cos 2z minus 2 whole division 1 minus cos 2z whole square. Again 2 can be taken out common but we shall take minus 2 common. So this becomes 1 and this becomes minus cos 2z so that it is easier for us to cancel the terms. After cancelling this and this we left with ux of z comma 0 as minus 2 by 1 minus cos 2z and we can also further simplify this by using the trigonometric formula 1 minus cos 2z is 2 sin square 2z by 2 which is 2 sin square z after cancelling this we can carry this to the numerator which is minus cosecant square z so this is our ux of z comma 0. In the same way we have to find u y. So I have copied the u term once again for reference. Now we are going to do u y using the quotient rule we are going to differentiate. Differentiation of the numerator becomes 0 and into we have to write this in a way that is 0 minus numerator we have to write as it is and differentiation of this will be this is sin h2y into 2 and this is constant. So it is 0. Whole division we have 
cos h two y minus cos two x whole square. Now we have to find u y of z comma zero. When I substitute zero here, the entire numerator is zero, so the total value itself zero. As per the question, we have to find analytic function. So f of z. So we know f of z is u plus i v. So f dash of z becomes u x plus i v x. Now from C R equations. Now from C R equations, we have u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x. So this v x can be changed as minus u y from the C R equation. So f dash of z will be u x minus i u y. Now from Millet-Thomson equation, f of z can be taken as integral u x of z comma zero d z minus i integral u y of z comma zero d z plus c. So we are going to substitute u x of z comma zero, which is minus cosecant square z. So minus cosecant square z d z, and the second part is totally zero, and we have a constant c. So f of z will be minus cosecant square integration is cot z plus c. Thus, we got the analytic function f of z.